2024 polling shows a neck and neck race between President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump. According to the latest numbers from Reuters and Ipsos, Trump leads Biden by two points, 38 percent to 36 percent among all adults. That is within the poll's margin of error. Reuters adds, quote, in the seven states where the election was closest in 2020, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, Arizona, Georgia, Nevada, North Carolina and Michigan, Biden had a four point lead among Americans who said they were sure to vote. But when Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is on the ballot, Trump's lead over Biden expands to five points, 36 percent to 31 percent, while Kennedy nets 16 percent of the vote. Reuters also notes that when RFK Jr. is an option, Trump takes a five point lead over Biden in the seven swing states previously mentioned. Reverend Al, a lot of moving parts there, but uh, some good news for Joe Biden, but some real challenges ahead. What's he got to do? He has to now make the campaign about people voting for their own interests, not just this contest between two older men, uh, between Trump, who's clearly corrupt, and Biden. I think that the more it is a personality contest, the more it'll be neck and neck. But when you point out to women, uh, that their interests are to be served and not served in the outcome of this election after the decision on Roe versus Wade. You point out to uh, the black community where you need big turnout about the uh, affirmative action killing and DEI that's being demonized. You have people like uh, Ackman uh, attacking a black university president saying she's a DEI choice or, uh, or a choice that was not qualified. When you have uh, people unemployed at, at disproportionate rates, people will come out and vote for themselves. And I think they must transition <laughs> this race to have people deal with their interests, not choosing between two political figures. Claire, fascinating to look at the battleground numbers inside this new Reuters poll. There's been so much consternation. A new poll comes out every day. People ride this roller coaster of polling. But in this poll, anyway, uh, Joe Biden does well, a four point lead in the states combined of Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, Arizona, Georgia, Nevada, North Carolina and Michigan, the states, of course, that will decide the presidential election. So just a reminder to pause your panic every time a poll comes out, because um, they're all very close and frankly, within the margin of error, if you look state by state. Yeah, I think, um, frankly, the thing that is most interesting to me about this polling is the third party mischief that the Biden campaign is going to have to deal with. Um, you have no labels not naming a candidate. Most people don't realize this. They're not naming a candidate because they can get on ballots easier as a party without a candidate named. Uh, and then you have this RFK thing. Uh, the Biden campaign is going to have to do a gut check here and decide when they have to begin informing low information voters that RFK Jr. is a conspiracy nut. Um, mm -hmm. He is, you know, in the same category as many of the others that see, um, you know, big boogeymen behind every door that aren't there, including someone who doesn't believe in real science. So it is, um, I think, important that the Biden campaign begin to plan on what they're going to do in these six swing states if they have both a no labels candidate and RFK on the ballot. Yeah.